Hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Alex. Maybe you caught my recent video doing Android builds right here on this channel, comparing the new Dell XPS 13 Evo with the MacBook M1. And if you haven't, you can check out those videos right here. And I gotta say that Dell really impressed me. I'm a Mac user now at this point in my life, but that Dell made me think, hmm, I could be a Windows user again if I really had to. So I wanted to find out if it is the Intel i7 Evo that's responsible for my positive experience with the Dell, or is it the Dell that's responsible for my positive experience with the Dell? So I went ahead and got yet another Evo machine. It's a Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 9 with an Intel Core i7. Evo so that I can do my battery of tests on it as well. After all, many developers that I know use Lenovo machines, including myself. That's was my first machine ever, my first laptop, I should say. So I'm really curious to see if the processor makes a big difference or is it the entire build of the machine? So far, I did make a couple of videos already on this Lenovo. And I gotta say, I'm finding the ergonomics of the Dell much better than the Lenovo, but maybe I'm just holding it wrong. I don't know. In any case, my full conclusion is yet to be made on this machine. And I still have a bunch more developer focused testing to do on it before making my final decision decision. By the way, just because I may not like a certain feel of a keyboard or the touchpad doesn't mean you won't and it doesn't mean that it's not a powerful machine. So in this video, we're going to do two Android tests, a simple Hello World template build to start, seeing how long that takes, etc. And then I'm going to do another build, a larger build. This time it's going to be a Firefox for Android build. And I'll compare this to the M1 MacBook as well. And thanks to Sergei Radkivsky for showing me this repo. It's an Android repo that he specifically cloned because he's gathering data on the different builds and different hardware and how they build this particular repository, which is forked from Firefox for Android. And he forked it so that the tests are all consistent. I'll link his repo down below so you can check it out as well. Oh, and if you thought that there's going to be a raffle in this video, there is. Stay to the end to find out the details. All right, let's go. All right, folks, so just to recap here, I've got the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 9. Not familiar with the IdeaPad line of products, but I've used their ThinkPad products before and I kind of liked them before. This one is a bit different. I'm going to go into that a little bit later in a different video. But what's important here is it is the Evo variety. So that means we are looking at the most up to date processor from Intel. Evo is made especially for these kinds of high powered but slim laptops very portable and indeed this machine is very thin as you can see it's right here next to the MacBook Air M1 processor machine and um, it's a little bit smaller it's kind of about the same size as the Dell XPS 13 so I've got Android Studio version 4.1.1 on both of these let's kick things off with a brand new hello world project and I'm gonna do these simultaneously on both of these machines we're gonna do a basic activity here we'll call it my application it's fine all right now here the minimum API is 28 I'm gonna match that over here as well and I think this is good. The settings are the same. Let's finish this up and create the project. Okay, so now it's gonna download the Gradle, spin things up a little bit, and once it's done, we're gonna kick things off. So I'm gonna standardize the way I do these tests a little bit more going forward, and any kind of ideas you have to contribute let me know down in the comments below. Before I used to press the play button at the same time on the two machines so that, I don't know, it's fun. I like pressing the play button at the same time, but at the same time, it's not as accurate because I want to have very high accuracy. I wanna improve my accuracy, right? So it's not gonna be a perfect test, but at least I wanna get better at that. So I'm gonna use the Gradle tab here. And what I'm gonna do is run one of the Gradle scripts that's included in the application. I'm gonna go to tasks, build, and and then there's a couple of already pre-built tasks here, which I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this build task right here. And I think we're ready to go. I could still kick things off at the same time, why not? But the nice thing about this build command is that it's gonna tell me how long exactly it took so we can 
compare. In any machine I test going forward with this project, I'll be able to compare using actual numbers. So let's kick things off and see what happens. Now, don't forget that right now, as of this time, Android Studio 4.1.1 does not fully support the M1 architecture, the Mac Apple Silicon architecture. It's supported, you can run it, but it's not running under the ARM architecture. It's running under Intel, as you can see right here. So always keep that in mind with these tests until the full version of Android Studio that fully supports ARM is released. This is what we're working with. And that's probably why you would have guessed that the Lenovo is going to beat out the M1 here in this case. And that is in fact the case. You can see the build is successful in 43 seconds while the M1 is still working at it. So some of you might ask, well, what the heck is the point of this? If Android Studio is not fully supported on the M1 yet, then why are we doing this? Well, many of you do mobile application development and you do iOS and Android application development cross platform or native. You're interested in getting this new machine, the M1. And um, I want to show you that it is possible to build applications on the M1 for Android as well. Well, it's not fully supported yet, but support I'm sure is going to be coming. So the results are here. We have 43 seconds for the Hello World app on the Lenovo Core i7. And we have one minute 39 seconds on the MacBook Air M1. So a considerable difference here. All right, so that's the Hello World project. Let's close this project. And I'm actually going to open up this Android Studio Benchmark Master. What is this Benchmark Master? Well, it's a project that's actually a direct fork from Firefox from Android. You can find it at the URL right here. I'll also link to it down below. So Yojik and then slash Android Studio Benchmark GitHub. And this is fork from Mozilla Mobile Focus Android. And this has instructions on how to build this how to set it up. And also Sergey included a link to the table where he's keeping track of all the different hardware, very useful resource. If you run a test and you want to contribute, you can also send your results to Sergey and he will add it to this Google Doc on your hardware. So it's a good way to compare different hardware and how it runs this project and what the speeds are. So I'm going to do it here, but I want you to notice that I am running screen recording software on both these machines. So in Sergey's instructions, he explicitly says, don't run anything else. So the results are going to be different a little bit. I will send him my results as a separate test, but from my initial testing, the results don't vary that much with having screen recording recording on at the same time. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to run this assemble debug command in a second. First, I'm going to go to build menu, clean project to make sure we're starting off fresh. And also I'm going to run this clean Gradle script as well. Now I did start this out at 100% battery. And this was let's see, I started making this video about 30 minutes ago. So in 30 minutes, this went down by 11%. And the Mac was at 91% when I started, it's at 90% now. So definitely still the Mac is a winner as far as battery goes. Let's check the battery once we're done building and I'm gonna build a couple of times here. So I'm gonna click on this assemble debug command and we'll do these at about the same time. It's gonna build, we're gonna compare the results here in a minute. All right, folks, we're about one minute, 13 seconds into it. Both machines are still going. It's a pretty big project and you can hear the Lenovo kicking up some noise. The MacBook obviously is silent because it doesn't have any fans, but there's quite a bit of noise and probably heat coming off of the Lenovo. You know what, while it's doing that, let's check out the temperatures. So 31 on the MacBook, 36 on the Lenovo. Not a huge difference. Not like an ouch kind of difference, you know? Like I'm not gonna burn myself while holding this one. Yeah, 37 on the Lenovo now at this point. Still 31 on the MacBook. Not bad. All right, folks, this is kind of a surprise, I gotta say. The MacBook finished first. <laughs> now I did run this a couple of times before this video and the Lenovo finished first in those instances, but I wasn't running OBS. OBS on this one recording the screen is actually maybe contributing to this problem. So here are the results. On the MacBook M1, we got two minutes, 34 seconds and on the Lenovo, two minutes, 42 seconds. So pretty close. Now what I will do is disable screen recording on both of these and we'll see what the results will be. But first before I do that, I want to do a subsequent build. So I'm going to execute both of these one more time because a subsequent build takes much less time. We got four seconds on the MacBook, three seconds on the Lenovo. 
All right, now I'm gonna do one with the screen recording turned off and I'm gonna tell you the results. All right, folks, so this is a bit of a surprise to me because here are the results. Are you ready for this? Even with the screen recording turned off on both of these machines and nothing else running, the MacBook M1 finished building that large project in two minutes, 20 seconds. The Lenovo Core i7 Evo, two minutes, 26 seconds. So this one, the MacBook M1 came in six seconds faster, even though Android Studio is not optimized and is running under Rosetta on that machine. That's crazy. So this was supposed to be more of a technical test of the Lenovo. I kind of just threw in the M1 to test against. I didn't think it was going to win. But again, we see the amazing power of the ARM chips that are going to be destroying the old school x86 64 bit intel based chips so when android studio fully supports arm chips it's going to be nasty it's just going to be a killing and this lenovo machine is 1700 dollars us versus 1200 dollars for the MacBook Air. Now you tell me which one seems like a more appealing purchase. All right, folks, so far, the Lenovo is not looking so good, at least from this reviewer's perspective, and I would personally not buy this machine. I will do a couple more tests and just see how far I can get with it. Maybe there are some things that it's gonna be better at, but so far I would get a Dell if I were to buy a Windows machine. And today's test even made me think that's gonna be the way I'd go even more. Now, if you wanna enter the raffle to win a JetBrains license, by the way, thanks to JetBrains again for giving away some licenses that I can pass on to you. And the rules are pretty simple. Leave a comment down below. You gotta like this video and you got to subscribe to the channel do those three things and in two weeks i'm going to randomly pick one of the comments down below and verify that you're a subscriber and then i'll get in touch with the winners just like i've been doing for the last few videos we've already had a bunch of winners and we'll keep going with this as long as i have licenses to give away so thanks to all you folks for your awesome comments and for the help that you're providing down below and make sure you like this video so the other folks can find this information easier you know the youtube algorithm and all that and and they can find all the awesome, helpful comments as well. Thanks again, folks. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.